Okay, and then how long uh, after you met each other did you get married? Well, there's actually another story that you should know, Mike, uh, that Irwin, the guy from California, and Esther, uh, mom's friend, had made a date when, you know, when we, when... You're leaving. When we, we yeah, they made a date when we were leaving, and he was going to come back to New York, and... Uh, I don't know how it came about, but uh, Esther uh, asked Mom if she would go on a blind date, mm -hmm. and Irwin asked me if I would go on a blind date. <laughs> so we really both blind. We ne we really never knew, you know, when we left that, that first weekend if we would see each other again, and. As it turned out, the next weekend, uh, it was a blind date, and we met each other again for the second time. Mm. And I don't know, I don't know if your mother was that satisfied with her blind date. Were you, honey? No, I mean, remember I told Esther, I didn't want to go out with that skinny boy. <laughs> Get me somebody else. Speak louder. Speak louder. Get me somebody else. Don't go around that skinny kid. <laughs> Was that that thing? I don't know. <laughs> but isn't it something, the way we I fell in love with you after that first date? Isn't that true? Well, I, yeah, I think you... I and know. then what, what year did you get married? Huh? Two years later, 53. 50. Speak loud. Speak louder. 53. Thanksgiving weekend, 53, November 26th, 1953. Yeah. We got married in the Bronx. Uh, it was called uh, Mount Eden Temple. And Jewish it was, Center? Okay. No. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was, but it was Mount Eden. It was a synagogue. Yeah, I guess so. It was a synagogue, and it was off the Grand Concourse in the Bronx, maybe 170th Street. Yeah. So uh, that's when we got married uh, two years later. <laughs>